Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. To celebrate 2021 and the awesome releases of G.I. Joe from Hasbro. Hasbro hooked us up with a box of goodies. And in my hands is one of those items. This is the Akiko figure from the G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes line. Um, and I have to say, like, I generally enjoy the Snake Eyes film. You know, didn't rock the world. It wasn't completely amazing, but it was entertaining. And that's kind of what we're looking for. Entertainment. Um, the figures have been really solid. They've, I think they've sent us everything that's been out so far, and, um, you know, what I've done the reviews for have, have been really good. I think there was, what, Baroness, Storm Shadow, and Snake Eyes, and every single figure so far has been, it was really solid. Like, I, I liked them. This has been a good line of figures. Um, as a whole, I've been loving... The G.I. Joe Classified. G.I. Joe was one of the line of toys that I, uh, I used to play with when I was a younger child. And, you know, it definitely has some fond memories, so it's kind of fun to go and uh, play around with this new line of figures. Um, as always, I like to do a stand test to see how well the figures go on their own. You can see very little issues with this one. Let's do the movement of joints. We got up and down with the foot, a little bit side to side. Uh, the foot does twist. Knee is double jointed. Upper thigh is we get some movement, which is cool. And the leg is yeah. Full range of motion like you'd expect. Let's go with the waist. It's decent movement. The waist, a little bit up and down, not a whole lot. Uh, head side to side, up and down, really good movement there. And let's look at the arm, up and down. Pretty good, even with the uh, the costume um, being over is uh, got some good movement. Um, elbow, it does look like it is a single join or single bend, not double jointed. And the wrist, side to side, a little bit back and forth, but not much. So generally pretty solid uh, articulation for the figure. Design, look of the figure, I think is really, really good. I think the thing that stands out to me, one, face uh, looks like the actress. It's, it's really impressive. But the outfit itself, there is a lot of detail on this, and I think it looks really good. The thing that really uh, impresses me is uh, the layers to it. You know, even the kind of the molded legs have a lot of layers and feel like there is, uh, um, you know, parts upon parts. We kind of get the, the flare leg. I don't know what you... kind of reminds me of your parachute pants, I'll be honest. Um, and then you got the lower boots all kind of having a worn look. You see the kind of the wrinkles... Uh, to the pants, uh, like, you know, it would actually kind of flow. And then you get the, I'm going to, we'll call this a gi, I don't know what a great way, great thing to describe it as, um, but, you know, little plastic, you get the layer of um, this belt on the top, we got a nice um, uh, tie there that has some depth to it, and of course you've got, this has got some depth, we got what it looks like uh, zippers on front, though I don't think that's supposed to be zippers. It kind of looks like zippers. Um, and then the top of it has some layer to it as well. So, you know, a lot of layering to this. It's just really well done figure. Like, it's not something that's necessarily going to uh, blow you away, but it's just it's just executed really, really well. I also say, you know, I'm, I'm kind of impressed that I didn't have that much problems standing it, even though it has... The high heel boots, uh, which tend to have some issues standing, at least I, I vaguely remember having issues with other figures that have fairly uh, similar boots, but, you know, there we go. Uh, weapons. We do have some various swords to play around with. to fit in. The answer is very. Now, I've jokingly said that there's so many figures in various lines I've had trouble getting their weapons in their hands. This one, uh, not so bad. So easy enough as the far getting those two swords in. I don't know, I will call them swords. And then you kind of got the combined one as the two swords together. Okay, 
let's let's go this way. There we go. That's actually way easier than what I was doing it. I was making it more difficult than it needed to be. Let me get the double one together. Let's see if we can do. Let's see if we can do a cool pose with both hands on. Yep. There we go. That's actually not, that's really that's kind of cool. I like that. That's that's some solid work. Um, overall, nice figure. This is a pretty solid rendition. A great addition to the line. Um, character looks like the actress. It looks like on you know the screen. Uh, overall, well done. This is this is really really solid. As I came to say, not gonna blow the world away, but it's really really good. I think my only knock is there's nowhere to put the swords. I would like something somewhere to put the swords, like a backpack or something. Just Give me that, but that's about my only knock to it. Overall, not that bad. Um, you can go get this now out in shops. We'll have some links underneath this video where you can purchase your own. There'll be likely affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. He'll support our site, so thank you. I want to thank Hasbro again for opening us up with this figure for review. Much appreciated and super excited to go through all the rest of the G.I. Joe figures. If you're into G.I. Joe, if you're to Hasbro, check us out recently at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, yo, Joe, and keep a kiki. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos. Or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.